on the build show today, panelized versus pre-cut framing with master framer, Tim Euler. Let's get going. All right, Tim, so we're visiting the Reisinger build project. This is a ready frame package. Uh, so this is a pre-cut framing package, meaning the framers basically had all the walls laid out from the ready frame computer system. And then they pre-cut bottom plates and top plates. They ink jetted them so they know exactly where the, uh, where the studs are going and where everything happens. They've even pre-cut sills and jacks and kings. So all this is pre-cut. Basically everything's pre-cut, even down to the five degree bevel on my sill and my window sill, all pre-cut. However, as you can see, we still have a nail gun, we still have framers, they're yep. still blocking at, at the zip system panel breaks. I'm curious from your perspective, what's the difference between panelized and pre-cut from your experience? To me, pre-cut's like a good midpoint where we're not cutting and nailing everything on the job site. Yep. We're nailing everything, yep. but we're not cutting everything on the job site. We had an experience with panelized about 10 years ago where there was a miscommunication on the bottom plates. So we spent the entire day pulling all of the bottom plates. <laughs> oh man. And we had to back charge for that. So, yeah. and the precision wasn't there. Yeah. We've seen panelized done well in Europe. Yeah, for sure. Here, that could be hit and miss. So oh. ready frame is like, it's gonna reduce the labor on site. But if we make any mistakes, right, life happens on a job site. Yeah. Concrete, whatever it is, we can still cut these plates shorter if we yeah. need to. Yeah. We could add to it if we needed yeah, to. Yeah, that's right. If this wall needed to be three inch shorter, just cut these pre-cut yeah, uh, top and bottom plates shove it together we're good to go also i think another thing about this that i that really hit me is if my foundation was out of level you know we still do the same things as a framer we would do yeah. whereas if it's panelized there's that uh-oh moment of, yeah. oh no my concrete's not perfect <laughs> yeah yeah so to me it's I, w I wouldn't mind installing panelized train comes in we set it in a day yeah. but none of us want to go that route because we know that there's just going to be more headache yeah this is a good midpoint it yep. gets us closer to less labor on site yeah but still allows us the flexibility to make adjustments on the fly yeah so we take advantage of the less waste because they're able to utilize the lumber in the factory really really tightly we don't have job site waste but yet we still have the flexibility this is a good happy medium it's also a really good happy medium on cost uh you know this is a very affordable package and we did have to spend more time ahead of time on this house thinking about how things went together. Uh, in particular, Builders First Source, Tim, has a bunch of digital tools to help me as a builder figure out routing later. So that for instance, all my trusses have been pre-thought about on both my roof and my uh, floor trusses to where my HVAC system's going, where my plumbing intersections are gonna go. It's pretty genius. So it's not just that the wall packages come out, but That's it, right. they work together with the trust. They are the trust company. Literally everything together, yeah. is, it came from Builders First Source. So, floor trusses, roof trusses, all the walls together. Uh, and it's a full system that's computerized so I can see exactly what I'm getting prior to anything being pressed. So I've print. got some friends, she's about my age, he's in his early 50s. They're building their forever house on the Oregon coast. Mm -hmm. After watching your videos, they went this route. They're awesome. currently framing like this week. Okay. And the reason they decided to do it is he can hire some labor to come in and help him. Yeah. He can oversee it, but they save all of the layout time because they want to get it under roof before the end of summer. Yeah, They're on the coast. Yep. So they felt that it was definitely worth the uh, the extra cost. Yeah. They're going to save that probably in cycle time. Yeah, for sure. I, we're thinking that this is going to be about a 40% labor savings Interesting. on this versus a traditional. I mean, if you just think about the amount of times that the frame carpenter is pulling his tape measure out, yeah. yelling a dimension, writing things down, handing it to a cut guy, and then getting that back, there's a big savings. We're on day eight on this project, uh, and we're quite a bit down the road. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I'm not ready to go panelized. I would work on a project with panelized, but I wouldn't mind trying this. Yeah. Uh, I would end by saying, look, panelized isn't bad. I've done it a bunch and it's worked really well. It even requires that much more precision on the foundation side. Uh, but you can get a fantastic result too. So I've done both, but I think your evaluation of this, which is that kind of happy medium is really good. The last thing I'm curious about from your perspective, do you feel like this eliminates the craftsmanship uh, of no. carpentry? No. I, 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 how much craftsmanship is there in just cutting? Right. There is. Like we get good sure. with saws and sure. we take pride in that. But the repetitive stuff ends up being kind of hard on the body. Mm -hmm. So we can we can demonstrate our, our artistic ability on other things. That's right. This It's kind of like the monotonous parts of framing. We can speed up a little bit. Yeah. And then we can be artists elsewhere. That's right. Guys, 
Appreciate uh, Tim coming out to the job. Go follow Tim on the YouTubes. We'll put a link to his channel below. And of course, he's posting content almost every day to Instagram as awesome framers. Uh, and his brother, by the way, Brian Euler, is Pioneer Builders on the Build Show. These guys do awesome projects up in Washington State. Yep. Appreciate it, Tim. Guys, if you're not currently a subscriber, hit that subscribe button below. If you've got new content here every Tuesday and every Friday. Follow me on Facebook or Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on, on The Bill Show. Show.